Death Valley National Park is one of the country's true national treasures. Travel guru Laura Begley Bloom joins us today to share the best ways to enjoy the park this summer. Thanks for joining us, Laura. Where do we start? Well, it's simple. We start with the oasis at Death Valley. This is truly an oasis in one of the most stunning destinations on the planet, and you can't think of a better place to have a bucket list vacation. This luxury escape was originally built in 1927 and recently underwent a major $250 million restoration. There are two properties at the Oasis. The first is the Inn at Death Valley. It features 66 elegantly updated rooms, 22 one-bedroom casitas, a renovated fine dining restaurant, and cocktail lounge. Also, don't miss the wellness sanctuary at Death Valley and the Xanadu Gardens. My favorite feature is the stunning spring-fed pool that is naturally 87 degrees. And I also love the verandas with sweeping views of Death Valley and the Panamint Mountains. The inn will be open all summer, which would be a change for longtime repeat guests. The other property is the family-friendly The Ranch at Death Valley. It features 196 guest rooms and 81 bedroom cottages, perfect for families and golfers. The Furnace Creek Golf Course at Death Valley is next to the ranch. At 214 feet below sea level, it's the world's lowest elevation golf course. Palm trees and majestic mountain views frame the 18 hole par 70 course. The ranch's cottages are right off the golf course, so convenient, and the new Wild Rose Tavern is nearby. It's the perfect spot for golfers looking to cool off. To discover more, visit oasis at deathvalley.com. So gorgeous and inviting. Now let's talk activities. What are your favorite things to do at Death Valley National Park? I love going to Death Valley in the summer. It's hot, but there are fewer crowds, which means a more private and affordable experience. There are so many unique things to check out when you are here, like stargazing. The park has almost no light pollution, so the stars are incredibly bright. You also can't miss the Badwater Basin, which is the lowest point in North America. It's a beautiful salt flat covering over 200 square miles. This winter, the basin filled with water, creating Lake Manly. The water was so deep that visitors could kayak in the lake. For the film buffs out there, many iconic Star Wars scenes were shot in Death Valley. R2-D2 and C-3PO walked on the mesquite flat sand dunes. And the hiking in Death Valley is also out of this world. Now you talked about the extreme heat. Talk to us about ways to manage that heat and stay safe in Death Valley this summer. Yeah, well, Death Valley is one of the world's hottest places, so you definitely should be prepared. And some of my top tips include drinking plenty of water, at least one gallon per day, avoid hiking in the heat, especially in the low elevations, head to the mountains, which are cooler in summer, Always drive on paved roads. If your car breaks down, stay with it until help arrives. Check out the National Park Service at nps.gov, which lists other things to consider. Plus, you want to hang out at the Oasis at Death Valley. It's my go-to spot to relax during peak heat times after exploring the park in the morning and early evening. I love the old-time ice cream parlor, the Last Kind Word Saloon, and the Oasis Shop. And where can we go for more information? Uh, for more info, you want to visit oasis at deathvalley.com. If you live in California or Nevada, residents get a 20% summer discount. Laura, we thank you so much for sharing your insight into planning our next summer vacation in Death Valley. Thanks so much for having me. Happy travels. And we thank you for joining us on San Diego Living. We'll see you next time.